All right, so I'm working on a 2006 uh, BMW X5 with the 4.4 liter, also known as N62, <coughs> and doing valve stem seal job because, well, it's burning a lot of oil. Anyways, there's an old steel seal. And there's a new seal. Um, see these tools here? Special tools that you can rent from Tony's Tool Rental. I highly recommend you join this group. It's on Facebook. Punch it in. Ask Tony to join. <laughs> there is so much information on there. And they have been an invaluable resource while doing this job. So... Number one, before you do this job, make sure you join. Get your tools, rent your tools from Tony. And bada boom, bada bing. <clears throat> there you go. You get your specialized tools. So you do not have to uh, remove the head. Heads uh, to uh, to change these valve stem seals. <clears throat> Anyways, um, so this is the way it looks on my car, 2006. Um... I guess this model is also referred to as an E53. <clears throat> so while you're doing it, very hard to get to the rears or see the rear, the very, the very real, the very rear uh, valves, valves, valve stem seals, hard to get in there. Anyway, so um, with a little bit of figuring out and lots of advice and everything, here we go. We'll show you how to remove that area in order to gain access. So you've got some weather stripping here, seal, whatever. Pull this one off, okay, it's just a press fit. There was also another one here that went all the way around. I've already taken that one off. So let's take this one off. I'll just show you, see there's just a groove in the bottom. Very easy to pull that off. Just simply pull it off. <laughs> I would also recommend, recommend taking your hood off, just makes it so much easier. I've got my hood over there. Two bolts here, plus another ground bolt. Your uh, your little uh, shock absorber thingy. Um, and uh, that has one little clip on it. That's that side. And then this side, again, was this little, this little guy with literally one clip and two more bolts. And just take that right off. I actually did it myself. I didn't even, I didn't even actually get help because the hood's not really that heavy. <laughs> All right, so take your seals off. Now you've got this cover plate. I've already got mine loosened here, but these guys here are just spring loaded. So you just turn them and they pop up and now you know it's released. And then you just pull this whole thing off. Boom, just like that. We'll get that out of the way. There, let me just put this up here on my roof. <laughs> All right, then you go in. I've already had this apart, so I'm just showing it. You've got this guy here. Literally pull up on it. Okay. That's his passenger side. Now go to the driver's side. And same thing. You've got this guy here. He literally just fits into a groove there. Pull it up. Out of the way. All right. You've got a 13 millimeter bolt here. 13 millimeter bolt here. If your power cable is in the way, disconnect it from there. Mine's still alive, so I covered it with with uh, black tape. Now, you can see here that this is separate. I've had mine off already, so you can see it's a nut. It was a 13 millimeter there. Did I say that? Maybe. And a 13 millimeter. Now, this, by the way, is your air filter, cabin air filter, okay? Now watch, this whole thing now, we're gonna pull it out. Look at it, just comes right out, like that. Okay, I'll just show you the other side of this. All right, let's get this out of the way. See how easy it was? I mean, really very, very, very easy, right? <coughs> let's get that out of the way. And now I'll show you, let's get my light in there. So you can see, now, look at the room. Here, let's get the light. There's your, there's now your real, your rear, uh, valves. 
So very easy to access. Now, much easier. And let's go around to this side. And so imagine you're looking down now, which we are. There it is. Now before, look at this would have come to here. This is all. This was all covered before. Now you can see right in there. Of course, I've got, I've got this in the way. So, but uh, yeah, it makes for a lot more room. Look, I can even see the bell housing down there. If you look close. Anyways, okay. This video is getting too long. So, again, if you need your tools uh, and you need lots of information, you want to bounce ideas off people, get ideas, and really <laughs> get some support because it's a real support group. I was feeling quite down and uh, joined the group. And, uh, and it's just uh, given me renewed optimism to get this job done. Anyways, again, that's on Facebook.